Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about cross dissolving both manually and with the built in tools inside of DaVinci Resolve. So make sure you don't miss any new tutorials from me by subscribing down below the video. And without any further ado, let's get started. In our timeline, you can see that we have two very distinct, different ways of setting up our clips. These sets of clips are going to be what I'm demonstrating how to cross dissolve on. This first set here is going to be our manual cross dissolve setup. And the second set here is going to be using the actual cross dissolve tool that DaVinci Resolve has built in. We're going to get started here with our manual technique. And the main thing that we're going to be using for this is this little fade handle that'll show up in the beginning and the end in the top corner of our clip. And as you can see, these show up on both of our clips. Doing this manually gives you a ton of control over how much you are actually fading, how long it takes, and the speed at which each individual clip actually does the fade. So step one here is going to be to grab one of these fade handles and we're gonna start by fading our top clip in and fading our bottom clip out. And now those two ramps together are going to equal a crossfade between these two clips. Now, depending on the layout of your clips in your timeline, it might be easier to stack them up like this, and that isn't going to affect anything as long as you're using those fade handles. Another place that you'll notice these fade handles is in your audio, and if you're going to be cross dissolving your image, you may as well do the same thing for your audio, otherwise it might be jarring for the viewer, and it probably just won't look as good unless you use both of these in conjunction with one another. That's how easy it is to manually cross dissolve with full control inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm going to show you the built-in tool that Resolve gives you, which is also very easy, but I tend to use it a little bit less just for the visual aspect. I like to be able to see exactly what I'm cross dissolving and not just imagine where it might be while using a tool. Now, as you can see here, both of these clips are back to back and that's actually not going to work. I'll show you why in just a second. Now, to use our first clips as an example, you can see that the first clip here transitions into the second clip and there's some overlap. But that overlap doesn't exist in this second set of clips yet, so how do we do that? In its current state, try as we might, there's no way to put this cross dissolve transition on top of this transition between these two clips. So we need to introduce some of that data back in so that the transition has something to transition with. So what we're gonna do to make sure that there is some data here to use is grab the end of this first clip, trim it so it's a little bit shorter, and then grab the beginning of the second clip and trim that so it's a little bit shorter as well. Now when we try to add this cross dissolve effect, it goes on there no problem, and if we watch this back, we can see that it does indeed cross dissolve these two clips. And now, just like with the manual method, we're going to cross dissolve our audio as well, but in this case, it's called a cross fade, and you can find it right over in your audio transitions in your effects library. Once we drop that cross fade on top of our audio, we have a seamless transition, both with images and with sounds, and that's the full use of the cross fade and cross dissolve tools working together inside of DaVinci Resolve. And just to reiterate, you can't do this from the absolute beginning and the absolute end of a clip. You have to trim them first, because when you trim something, that data isn't necessarily lost. As we can see here with this little white outline, that is the full length of this clip. So when we trim off, that is the section that would be essentially overlapping like we did manually with our first clips. So that's it for cross dissolving both manually and with a tool inside of DaVinci Resolve. I want to thank you guys for dealing with having no face cam this week. I'm in a little bit of a studio redesign right now and the camera is just not hooked up yet. So next week we'll be back with another tutorial, hopefully this time with a face cam. So make sure you've subscribed so you don't miss that and I'll see you on Thursday.